Del Monte, Kenya commemorated the World Menstrual Hygiene Day with a visit to neighboring secondary schools where they donated sanitary pads, toiletries and soap to students in an event held at Mwana Wikio Secondary School in Athanga Division of Gatanga Constituency. The team partnered with other organizations such as Sanlam Limited, Chernia Cleaners, Mobius Motors, Kotex among others to educate the young girls on menstrual hygiene management during and after their menstrual period. Head of Human Resource Department Mr. Gerald Matoke said that the company intends to impact 10,000 women as part of their CSR activities in the region. Del Monte Public Relations Officer Jacqueline Mathoni said that so far, over 5,000 women have benefited from their empowerment programs, hoping to hit their 10,000 women empowerment milestone by next year. This is part of our CSR. We've been doing this for a long time. But then we decided to come out here. We used to do it internally, but then we are outward now. And we know very well we are smarting out of COVID. We've been doing it internally at that time, but now we are out here. And we are very, very proud to be here. On behalf of the senior management of Del Monte Kenya Limited, we are committed to run with this program as much as it takes, because we value our kids. Our CSR revolves around several pillars. They are around three, or they are three, rather. But the main one is education. Education for the young ones who are here, and education even for the old. My name is Gerald Matoke, head of Human Resources in Monte Kenya. We are glad to be here today, and this is part of our program where we have subscribed. Uh, in a program which is very, very dear to us. Uh, we are intending to impact at least 10,000 women around the vicinity where we work. And uh, so far we are glad to be progressing well. Uh, obviously we talk of 100% transition to secondary schools. But then I can imagine of a girl who is doing an exam without bats. I also wish to say that uh, the, the issue of bats to be made free because we have seen girls drop out of school because of shame. Uh, when they're in their periods, they can't go to school. And then uh, if they, they undergo that shaming within the class, they drop off. So this is one of the challenges that uh, really touched us. And uh, we subscribed to impact uh, women, at least around the community and within the company, uh, by the year 2024. We have quite a number of projects that impact women. We have uh, trainings, we have schools where the, these, these uh, girls are accommodated within our premises. And uh, we do more of CSR activities looking at women as a factor. Uh, my name is Jacqueline Modoni Washira. I am the PRO at uh, Del Monte Kenya Limited. For us over the years, uh, we have continuously had a very good uh, relationship. And I can say with so much confidence, uh, between the year 2022 and 2023, we have improved uh, the relationships that we have within our surrounding communities and especially in Mata CSR. And when you touch on particular for today's event, uh, the CSR and the women empowerment that we are doing today, it has had a very great impact because we're talking about 1,513 girls who have been impacted generally by the women empowerment program. And as we project towards the future, as our commitment with UNF, we planned to at least uh, have an impact on 10,000 women. We are glad to say that we have hit the half mark and we hope by 2024 we'll have achieved uh, this particular achievement or milestone by doing more of these kind of initiatives as well as interacting with the community. And our reach is as far as wide as uh, not only within Thika or Moranga, but we are looking now at the nationwide scope because you already know that Del Monte is a multinational, that means global. So we are on the journey to ensure that we reach uh, to the people who really matter most. But uh, as the popular saying says that charity begins at home, we have to start here at home before we spread our wings out to other communities. Jacqueline Kalasha of Sanlam Kenya PLC appealed to the government to develop policies to ensure that the cost of sanitary pads was made affordable to every citizen. Her company donated 512 sanitary towels for the event. 
On their part, celebrities Avril and MC Jesse called on the government to offer free sanitary pads to all school-going children as menstrual challenges were some the causes of school dropout among the girls. Their sentiments were echoed by Mary Nyawai of Nyungu Africa who appealed to the government to come up with tax incentives and exemptions for manufacturers of sanitary pads so as to make them affordable. My name is Jacqueline Karasha and I'm the Chief Sales Officer from Sanlam Life, Kenya. And today we are very happy to have partnered with Del Monte Kenya on this initiative as we celebrate the Menstrual Hygiene Day. Uh, we've been able to donate 512 packs of sanitary towels to support the girls um, to be able to able to attend school even during the menstrual period. Uh, this initiative is backed by Sunlam's uh, pillars around the ESG, environmental social goals, uh, where we have uh, initiatives that drive women empowerment um, and in the girls sector, especially around education, a lot of girls are not able to attend school comfortably due to lack of access to sanitary towels. What I find so impressive today is that um, to me involve uh, Vijana a conversation about menstrual health and menstrual hygiene kwa ajili many times me actually growing up most of the time they kwa tunachukuliwa kama you know wasana tunaikuwa kando tunazungumziwa about menstrual health and hygiene but this time I feel so honored and privileged to be you know pioneering um, an event that especially sponsored by Del Monte about um, kuhusisha vijana na kuambia you know what this affects all of us the situation in the country is quite dismal and it's embarrassing to say that we can have some things that are free out there in terms of um, um, sexual reproductive health but we do not have um, a free access to pads um, which honestly is, is a natural it, it's something natural that happens it's not a choice for a girl to get into a reproductive stage in life where she's menstruating I would advocate for the government to be giving pads to the schools for free Kama tulikuwa tunafanya enzi za nyao, tukuna patia na maziwa, mbona tupatia na pads? Yeah? It should be, it should be something that's advocated for and I love that we have our members of parliament who are actually advocating for such and I feel like more voices need to come out and we need to have that conversation because it's a very serious conversation. Mi kwa maoni yangu, ninge penda sana na ninge pende keza. Kama serikali neweza saidia wasichana wetu wapate pads for free. Haifai kuwa hata ni jambo la kuzungumziwa kuhusu mambo ya taxes and all that. Mimi nilisoma pande za Meru, mashinani kabisa. Kama hapa tuko ni mashinani ish. Kuna ile mashinani ndani. You can imagine kama hapa hapa thika yenyewe watu wanashindwa kupata pads na kule mashinani kabisa. Kwa hivyo kuna wale wasichana ambao hawezi afford. Na kama serikali inaweza amua mara moja inaweza na hii pendekezo kwa rais wetu mpendwa rais William Ruto aweze kuangalia ili jambo sana pamoja na cabinet minister waweze kuangalia wafanye hizi pads kuwe free unless mtu akue hajui ile ile shida ambayo wasichana wanapitia Wengi, wazazi kama wazazi wenyewe wana pesa ya kulipa school fees mtoto msichana atatoa wapi pesa ya pad Kwa hivyo kama serikali inaweza ondoa taxes kwanza kwa pad itakuwa vizuri sana. Alafu ya pili kama unaweza tengeneza uh, njia ya kuwa kwamba pad zinaweza patikana for free itakuwa jambo zuri sana na hii society ya kusupport girl child itaweza kuwa inainuka vizuri sana. So my name is Mary Nyarwai and I'm the founder of Nyungu Africa which is based in Kenya. We are manufacturing eco-friendly sanitary towels and we use pineapple leaves and corn husk fibers. To be honest, I'm very excited and very honored to be here because to see organizations such as Del Monte, you know, taking the stance to be committed to such an important day such as the menstrual hygiene goes to show that organizations, once you partner with startups like ourselves, you're actually putting in the work to, um, you know, intervene for the gaps that we have in the MHM space. The reason why sanitary pads are expensive in Kenya is because we have huge multinational corporations which have centralized manufacturing in different areas. So if you have organizations like Nyungu, 10 Nyungus for example, and you empower them, you catalyze them and help them to decentralize production of sanitary pads, you will make them accessible. Yeah, and also of course tax incentives, tax exemptions. That process should be very easy for us to be able to access and get um, the services and the products to the right people who deserve them. Kenya is one of the leading countries with teenage pregnancies. It's the third global country, which is such a shame because this shows that girls have to trade their bodies to be able to to, to access 
pe uh, period products. Um, and then there's also statistics where 65 percent of women and girls are not able to afford sanitary pads. I think this is well known. And this is not just a Kenyan problem, it's a global problem. So once again, those gaps need to be monitored so that the right interventions can be put in place. Mwana Wikio Principal Hilda Mwangi narrated some of the challenges they faced as teachers as they handled menstrual cases among girls due to the level of poverty in the area. World Menstrual Hygiene Day is observed on May 28 every year to spread awareness, break the taboos and end the stigma around menstruation. My name is Hilda Mwangi. Principal Manawikio Secondary School. Uh, the community uh, have quite a number of challenges, and mostly uh, poverty levels are quite high. For the girls, uh, mostly you find that they will come to school unprepared. Some may not be aware when they will receive their uh, menstrual. And uh, sometimes we find that they will excuse themselves, they, they'll ask for permission to go back home to organize themselves. But for the school, we normally have some few pads in the office to assist them for that time that comes when it is unexpected. But uh, because of economic uh, hardship, we may not afford for all the girls, but only for could be some few hours so that they don't have to go back to school. And therefore, uh, today we celebrate uh, Del Monte, Kenya, because they have come to uh, train our girls. They have come with goodies. Uh, they, have, uh, they will give them pads and also make them aware so that they don't have to leave school in the middle of the day because their menstrual cycle have uh, begun.